Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Today I'm going to do something I have never ever done before and that is tell you about a tool I bought from Stuart McDonald that I'm frustrated with. Okay, in one of the last videos that I did, I um, was showing you guys how we undercut frets to uh, go over the binding on the uh, fretboard and I used this original fret undercutting tool that I got from Stu Mac many, many years ago and I'm still using it, still works great. Um, after I did that video, I decided I would buy the new hotness from Stu Mac. And um, I did buy these. They did not give them to me. Why? Because I want to give you impartial reviews. On the other hand, if Stu Mac wants to pay me to show for them, I'll do it in a heartbeat. You just watch how fast. But um, anyway, so I bought this new set here, and I think these were like $45, $50, something like that. Um, and they sure look cool. I like the idea. There's, um, you can see how it works there. The fret kind of goes under that little cutter there and then you squeeze it down and it undercuts the fret. Simple as pie. A lot like the way this guy works, just a slightly different um, assembly. So uh, what's the verdict? Well after I have done several um, undercutting frets, after I've done several necks worth of undercutting frets with this, I've decided that I do not care for this tool. Here let me show you why. Okay, so here is what it does. You can see that the fret kind of goes in crookedy assed and that's probably operator error, but what happens is now it won't it won't come out. So what I've had to been what I've been doing is I've actually been taking this screw out and disassembling the whole tool to um, to get the fret out of there and then make it work. Now I don't know how much of this is operator error and how much of this is sucky tool, but what I do know is I've never had that same problem with these guys. Okay, so you have to get a little Allen wrench into this piece here, and then you unscrew it, and you know maybe this needs to be lubricated. Maybe something needs to happen. I don't know because there were no instructions in the uh, in the box. So okay, so yeah, so what has taken <laughs> what has gone from being a super fast job has taken you know a little bit more time. Um, if anybody at Stu Mac knows what's going on with this and can help me out, I would really appreciate it. Okay, so uh, there you go, Stu Mac. Not exactly a home run with this one. I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep trying a handful of things. Maybe uh, add some lube to that. Maybe, I don't know, try something. Um, but uh, if anyone has any comments that they would like to leave about this Stumac tool or any other tools that you've seen here on these videos, go ahead and leave them in the section below. If uh, anyone from Stumac watches this video and they want to tell me what I'm doing wrong, I'm open for a suggestion. Um, if you guys like the video, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like content like this, you might want to check out our Patreon page. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you content like this. So, um, let's see. Oh, if you can't do the Patreon thing, we totally get it. Uh, what you can do for us, though, that was very helpful, is to share this video as many places as you possibly can and help us get the word out. So, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you're so smart, make your own fret thing. Yeah.